Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'm gonna cover the top 10 natural painkillers to help you get relief fast. And you may be a person out there that struggled with headaches, neck pain, low back pain, herniated discs, uh, torn ACL, shoulder issues with your rotator cuff, muscle aching, fibromyalgia, any of those issues, any type of joint or muscle pain or discomfort, you may be seeking the help of natural painkillers, or maybe you've done the conventional painkillers in the past, you don't want the side effects. Well, here are my top 10 natural painkillers you should be using on a regular basis. And I'm telling you, some of these are gonna surprise you, and a lot of these are things you've never even thought about before using, and I guarantee one of them is really gonna shock and surprise you. Number one is spicy foods. Eating spicy foods such as cayenne pepper and wasabi and horseradish really improve circulation. Circulation is key to killing pain, okay? So again, if you wanna get rid of pain, we've gotta increase circulation in the body, getting new nutrients and blood flow to area. So doing a little cayenne pepper in your burger meat or in your hummus or whatever you're making is a fantastic way to naturally relieve pain. And also you can mix cayenne pepper with some coconut oil and peppermint oil and mixing those together and actually make your own natural skin pain or pain-free cream if you wanna do something topically. But even internally, we know that spicy foods can make a big difference. Number two is Arnica oil. Arnica oil is something you can rub on topically. It's been shown to actually be transdermal, get from your skin into the joint, muscle, or tissue area and help reduce inflammation. So again, if you're looking to make a topical ointment or cream or gel yourself, Arnica oil is a must have. It's also the best for bruising. If you bruise in an area, uh, especially or have any discoloration, Arnica oil will help heal that area very, very quickly. Number three are the super herbs, turmeric and ginger. Two of the most potent anti-inflammatory herbs on the planet. Turmerics have curcumin, gingers has gingerols. Uh, these are fantastic compounds found in these herbs. And what I recommend you do is you can do, just add, add turmeric and ginger to your recipes. Add some ginger to a morning smoothie. Add turmeric again to uh, your chicken, a salad, your burger meat, um, you know, a recipe, even like a guacamole, you can add a little turmeric. But just add in turmeric to your recipes. Also, you can take them in capsule form or do them as a tea or juice them. So there's a lot of different ways to get these herbs, but turmeric and ginger are powerful uh, anti-inflammatory herbs. And actually in medical studies have proven that turmeric and ginger are more effective in treating pain than most conventional over-the-counter medications. Number four thing that can help treat pain, especially topically, is, is peppermint and wintergreen essential oil. They contain menthol or mentha. It's a compound that actually helps cool and, and reduce inflammation in area and specifically works as an analgesic numbing areas as well. So again, peppermint oil and wintergreen oil, what I would do is mix those with some arnica oil. Heck, you can mix them with some cayenne pepper there as well, we've talked them out. Make your own muscle or joint cream, rub it on the area. It's really gonna support the health and reducing pain fast. Number five, magnesium oil or Epsom salts bath. Magnesium oil is transdermal, gets into your skin. Magnesium is known as the relaxation mineral. So if you have an area of muscle spasm or tension, magnesium helps calm and relax the area. So again, using magnesium oil topically on an area is wonderful, as well as you can also use magnesium oil or add a cup of Epsom salts to a bath, soak with those with some essential oils, and that's also gonna help relieve that muscle pain, tension, some tendonitis you have in various joints. Number six, give yourself a massage with a foam roller. You can buy a foam roller, or you could even use a lacrosse ball or tennis ball, but foam rollers are ideal. Get in those areas, maybe it's your IT band, maybe it's your TFL, maybe it's your quad, your hamstrings, maybe it's an area of your shoulder like your bicep tendon. Get on there, you can buy a foam roller and just roll the area Typically, you wanna get on an area, sit on there for about one minute, and then roll it for about a minute. You don't wanna overdo it, because that can actually cause more problems. But you wanna go about a maximum of about two minutes in an area, but foam rolling and giving, your way that, giving yourself that natural homemade massage is a great way to naturally relieve pain. Number seven, drink bone broth. Bone broth contains collagen, as well as glucosamine, 
chondroitin, and hyaluronic acid, all the nutrients you need to help rebuild healthy joints. So if you have any type of joint issue, whether it's headaches, low back pain, neck pain, a joint pain of your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, ankles, anywhere, drinking bone broth can help. I recommend you check out bone broth powder. You can add that to a smoothie or drinking bone broth soup on a regular basis. But bone broth is a fantastic way to help naturally relieve pain. And really this is long term. You're not gonna drink bone broth protein one day and it automatically takes your pain away versus you know, a, a peppermint oil, you get more immediate relief. But bone broth over time may have the biggest impact on helping your joints feel better. Number eight is doing something called regenerative medicine, and that's doing prolotherapy, PRP, and stem cell. Now, here's what this is. It's called regenerative injections. Prolotherapy is where they go and they inject glucose, so sugar into an area, and it triggers your body's healing response. So think about this. When you, uh, when you sprain your ankle, it swells up and your body heals itself, right? Well, your body might only heal itself by 75%. So that ligament tissue, it's been stretched, it's been damaged, it doesn't heal completely. Well, what PRP does, or what stem, what stem cell PRP and prolotherapy do, prolotherapy, you inject sugar into the tendon that's damaged, and then your body says, oh, there's damage there. Well, there really isn't damage, there's just sugar there, but then your body sends healing factors and growth factors to go and heal and repair that tendon again. So it might bring your area from 75% full recovery up to 80, 90, and eventually 95 to 98% recovery. Great improvements. Prolotherapy is what that is. And then there are more advanced forms of prolotherapy such as PRP and stem cell. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. And on PRP is where they actually take your blood they separate the, the, the platelets, the growth factors, from your red blood cells. So you have your growth factors, which is where all of the healing nutrients are. So it's essentially, it's drawing your blood, it's concentrating all of those reparative compounds, injecting them back into an area, and that's gonna help healing. So typically, PRP is three times more effective than prolotherapy, and then there's stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy is oftentimes three times or nine to 10 times more effective than prolotherapy, and of course, there are big cost differences, but stem cells where they take your own, and I'm not talking about other stem cells, I'm talking about taking your body's own stem cells, they'll take your body's own stem cells, and then they'll re-inject them into an area. And your body's stem cells can differentiate into any type of tissue. So if you tore your ACL in the past, and maybe it's not completely healed, you can actually have them go in with stem cells, and those stem cells will actually become new ACL tissue, or new labrum tissue in your shoulder, or, or a new uh, cartilage in your neck, whatever it is, if you have damage, even new herniated disc, if you've herniated a disc, stem cell can help that as well. So again, stem cells actually become that tissue, and there's a company called Regenex, that's R-E-G-E-N-E-X-X, -E -E Regenex, and you could even look up Dr. Axe Regenex on Google, but again, a company called Regenex, and they actually do PRP and stem cell, the most advanced forms. But again, these are great. And this is for, if you've got advanced, if you've had these issues for a long time, I'm telling you that stem cell and PRP and prolotherapy work very effectively, but I really recommend the company Regenex. I've used them personally and so has my wife. And again, they just do great work in the most advanced form of those therapies. So again, that's another natural painkiller, especially for severe issues. Number nine, ART, Graston, and Rolfing. ART is active release technique. That's active range of motion massage. And so that's really deep tissue massage therapy, getting in with Graston, ART, or Rolfing, and helping break up scar tissue that's formed in your fascia and in your muscles. And number 10 is chiropractic care and acupuncture. Chiropractic has been used as one of the top natural pain relievers for years, especially for spinal issues. If you've got neck pain and back pain, I would try chiropractic first, and then also acupuncture. Acupuncture is great for pain that may be emotionally related or due to muscle spasm as well. So again, check out a great chiropractor or acupuncturist. But those are the top 10 natural ways uh, that can treat pain or the top natural painkillers you may search out. And if you want more information on this, check out my website, draxx.com. Just go to dr 
axe.com and you can search any one of these conditions or just search natural painkillers and you're gonna find them listed out with even greater detail on all of these on my website. And hey, if you wanna learn more ways to naturally treat pain with natural remedies, make sure you subscribe here to my YouTube channel. This has been me, Dr. Josh Axe, talking about natural ways to relieve pain fast.